Hi, it's Jill again with Quick Flex. I haven't decided yet with that last video if I'm going to upload these both together or if I'm going to do them as two. Depends on how long this one takes me. Anyway, what I'm working on now is for a baby shower for a little baby boy. These centerpieces are an overall height, two feet. This little guy is 18 inches the babies are 18 inches and then the six inch box when you add the two together 18 and 6 is 24 which is two feet that's how i come up with it a little bit different on this one how i'm doing them however oh, my daughter put them together wrong well yes she did she put them together wrong i'm gonna have to change all of these so this will be easy enough. Oh, yes. She put them together wrong, but partly right because I can get them off. I know what she was thinking because the way that we normally do them would have been the other way around. Now I've got to find my spatula. And there it is. <clears throat> Guys, I get so much going on all at once that I don't know how. Oh, let me see here. That one's taking this suit hand. And this is the one that I'm doing. Hold on just a second. Okay, what month am I in? April. Almost the end. I'm looking what it is. This is for Michelle. Okay, got it. Okay, I've got to pull all these off though because they're upside down. This is a little bit different because normally the boxes would be going the direction that she has this writing on here. However, these boxes are going to have the lids on them where normally they don't. So she's got them all colored with the little squares, the six by six square, and she picked colors that coordinated with each of the bears. Or, each of the babies. I'm so used to doing bears that I can't just, my mind is all over the place. So, we're going to reattach baby, I don't know how to pronounce it, and I don't want to even try, because guys, I'm not good at that. And anybody that follow me, follows me probably already knows that, so I'm going to just not say it. Oh, well, now, I'm going to tell you what I did wrong here. Put it up too high because it's going to have a lid on it. And I didn't realize there was three words. I'm on a roll. Okay. There we go. Then I'll push it down really hard. And the reason I do it from upside down is because I can't apply too much pressure from this way because the box is going to collapse if I do that. So I'm going to very, very carefully add them on this way. Went and saw my little granddaughter today and have decided she's just getting cuter by the minute. She's such a, such a little peanut. She did gain one pound, which was great because they had issues with Lane when he was born. He was growing slow. So he used to have to go in. He was real tall and skinny. So they used to make him go in twice or every two weeks or every week in the beginning to be weighed to make sure that he was getting enough nutritionally. So they did all these, I don't know, um, tests and things. And so they were concerned about that with little Aveda. Uh, not Aveda, Aveda. My, grand, my, my daughter in law, if she watches any of my films and she hears me calling her anything but. Some of these don't have the holes punched into them, and I swear I just did them all. Well, oh, guys, I'm going to go over there and punch a hole in them. I thought they were all done. This is a is an order that I'm picking up midway through. Amy has done the most of it, but she's out of town now. And this is what happened to me when I did the last one for Jenna when she went and had Beta. She was almost done and then left it for me to finish. And um, I missed something along the way. And now my 
thing that I hammer the holes in isn't there. Oh my gosh, guys, here it is. I'm going to have to give it up. I'm just going to have to call it quits and not do this. Okay, that one's got a hole in it. But these lids are going to go on the top, which I never do, very rarely. This is how they're going to go. And say, welcome, baby. Whatever that name, however you pronounce that, which I don't know. Then I'm going to put this lid and I want the green because this one's got quite a bit of green on him. She she did the the um, glossy accents on the eyes and then all the rest is outlined and done with glitter. And I love it. I love these. These are so cute. And there's 10 of them and all 10 of them are different. No two are alike and I love that. It makes them very unique. And I haven't decided yet. Oh! I miss one of the sides of the green too. <sighs> God, I tell ya, I am I'll probably drive my husband absolutely nuts because I sometimes can be such a freak, and I think it's because I have so much on my plate I'm taking care of my mother full time. I gotta get some of this stuff out of the way. I'm sorry, but that glue gun was running and dripping. I don't want it all over these pieces. And let me see number two that she did. And this one, I want to see which one has the name on it. Well, you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. Okay, guys. Call me crazy, but I swear I just had punched holes in all of these boxes. Apparently not. I'm going to punch the holes in. What I do is I use this to get them in the center. This is made by Memory Maker or um, something Memories. And you just hammer this in the center and this cuts, bores a hole in it. And that's the only way. You can't use your crocodile because um, you can't get it into the center of the box. So I'm going to shut this off and I'll be right back. Okay guys, two, five minutes have passed. So we're gonna go to part three. Okay, the holes weren't punched in them. So let me find a yellow one. I'm gonna grab this and these are going to be put together this way. And I want to find one that has a lot of yellow in it, or mainly yellow. We're gonna go with now, not mainly yellow, but the yellow duck is going to go on this one. So, let me find my... got too much stuff sitting here. So, we want this, this, this. Two of them, actually. Okay. Probably should have her make stickers out of these. Amy has done um, all the printing and cutting on this order. So, I'm just doing the assembly. She has, <laughs> this cracks me out. She and her husband are having their holiday party tonight. Or for, tomorrow night at her house. 35 people for her Christmas. When I say holiday, I'm not talking about Memorial Day, 4th of July, Easter, anything like that. We're talking Christmas. This is their Christmas party tomorrow night. I think that's hilarious. And at the end of May, we're having Charlie's birthday party, which was in January. So, the reason for that is because with Amy being divorced, um, she doesn't always have Charlie on her birthday. And because it's right after Christmas, because it's January 3rd, she likes to do it another day. And so she calls it her half birthday. So her dad does her main, her real birthday, and Amy does her half birthday. So Charlie gets a lot more. I think that that's pretty cool because I would have loved to have even one birthday party growing up. Never had a birthday party in my life, guys. Never. So. 
Wipe your wipe your eyes. Dry those tears. It's okay. I, I'm a big girl now. I can handle it. But never had a birthday party. So I over did it with mine because I so missed. We always went on vacation, and I'm a July. I'm a Fourth of July weekend baby. So um, we were always going somewhere to northern woods of Wisconsin to a cabin for our vacation and it always was on the 4th of July weekend which was my birthday so I never had a birthday party I don't know back then though they weren't quite as elaborate as they are nowadays I must admit there's not much to them I don't even know if I ever went to a birthday party must, whatever it was, I must have been really impressed because I don't even remember it. I'm not getting this black on here too well. There we go. Got it that time. I just used blocks of um, a, a one by four, and my husband just chops them up in blocks and um, drills a peg hole in them. Now, some of these centerpieces, I glue the top. Not the center. Yeah, I glued the top, the wood top, to this top and don't have the box, and I use this as a base. Um, there's all sorts of ways, and sometimes I use the box the other way around and um, don't put the lid on it and have all the paper coming out of it. So there's all sorts of things you can do with this box, which I get from Uline. And to find it, all you have to do is type in 6x6x6 um, uh, six by six by six Give, I think just box will work. It'll take you there because it's not like they have a bunch of options. I mean, it, it's nothing. There's really nothing to choose from. But um, they are sold a hundred in a box. I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a hundred. And I absolutely love them because you can make so many things. As a matter of fact, I love using the box lids for bases on larger centerpieces. And so I ended up going to, I don't remember it was, but I found these lids on sale for a hundred. I can't remember, it was a hundred lids. I don't remember the price at all. But I want I needed more lids because some of these centerpieces I use the lids, they are not all done without lids on them. And so using them as a base, I just, I need to be able to get a hold of the, just the lids. So I did find a place where they had them. Um, I don't know where I have it written down. I can't remember, but um, I use them uh, when I'm using just the top as a base with the wood chunk underneath it. Um, they're great. Again, I'm repeating myself, but they are great for larger centerpieces. It really, really keeps them um, sturdy. They stand really, really nice. I love them that way. Welcome, baby. So I put baby, for baby first. Okay. Now, there's ten of these guys. So, I want to see a show of hands of how many of you would like me to just keep putting these together and babbling about absolutely nothing. Um, and how many would you... <clears throat> Guys, you got to pay attention and tell me these things. Did anybody see what I just did on that last one? <laughs> Seriously, what did I... What am I thinking? I'm going to do this one in blue. This is pretty blue. But the last one that I just did, I got the name. i gotta, I got to redo it. I did it wrong, in the wrong order. <sighs> I tell you, we're going to have to put speakers here so you can yell and scream at me so you can tell me when I'm making a mistake. Before I make it, doggone it. I just looked over there and I thought, how come that one looks so off-centered? Well, now I know why. Because I put the name first. i got to fix it. i got to fix it. Is my little... Oh, a little Blakey. Um, he was too little to remember last year just how incredible it is to be outside. And it's coming back to him now. And he gets up in the morning and says to his mommy, Mommy, outside, outside, Mommy, outside. 
and that's all he ever does. He just wants to be outside digging in the dirt and playing on the swing set. And, um, it's awesome. But now with this weekend, him being up north on the farm with Grandma and Grandpa, I cannot imagine how much fun that little baby's having. And Grandma and Grandpa included are probably in hog heaven to have him for at least two days. They told them they didn't have to come back and pick him up till Sunday. I don't know how well Mommy and Daddy will last. But um, it's a good thing for, for Blakey to be with that set of grandparents too. It's the last time um, he probably stayed was when we went to Disney World. His parents go to Disney World with us. I probably mentioned that in numerous videos. At least once or twice. We're going to do a little here. But I think I already said in the video I want them to go with us all the time. They are awesome to travel with. Really awesome. It's so nice. I'm so thankful for him and his family, well, particularly his mom and his dad, they're just such nice people. So if I've got a vacation with them, then I'm, we're not the only adults. I don't consider my kids adults on vacation. I consider them my kids. So it looks a lot. You know what? I'm not going to put the welcome baby on until I have the box put together. It just makes more sense for, for centering purposes. And I do everything by eyeballing it, and I need to have it put together first so I don't have it off center. And I'm going to recenter this one because I don't like that side. And that's it. Okay. And this side we're going to. Good thing that tape comes off the way it does. Sometimes it's, these tapes are not very forgiving, so they will not come off the box. This one. Oh my gosh, I do love these centerpieces. Well, I haven't heard anybody cheering me on or cheering me off here, so I'm not real sure what you're thinking. Should I be done? Because I do have other films that I can make, so maybe I should be done and not bothering you, putting you through the, the <laughs> watching me go through finishing up 10, oh, 10 center pieces. My husband went and got, went today to apply for his, um, his, um, passport. I couldn't remember what it was called. So that was pretty exciting that, and you know, I thought of it and I thought, you know what? People probably think I'm crazy to make such a big to do, big freaking deal. But to me, it is such a huge, huge thing because I don't know a man alive that deserves to, to be a citizen at Swan Color Green. Um, he just absolutely thinks that the United States is absolutely the best place in the world to live. So, him walking around having a passport and calling himself a gringo is huge. And I need a piece of that green. Come on, guys. Okay, I am now going to follow through with my threat. i got to do this offline because I can't find the green that I need. So, I'm going to have to quit. I need a different color green. And I will show pictures when they're all done. Thank you for watching. My battery's going dead anyway, so we're good. See you later. Bye-bye. Hi, it's Joe with Quick Flix, and I finally got a little bit of time here um, to finish up what I started on my last spell, which was the Mickey and Minnie um, Bride and Groom. All I'm going to do now is put them together. So I got the back all ready to go. So... It's a pasta sticks. And um, thank you to, and I was going to remember who it was that sent me a link to get the um, thick sticks. I went in and ordered them yesterday because I do prefer this versus in small um, popsicle sticks. They just, to me, 
they, number one, they don't show at all like an outline on certain pieces. Sometimes I can kind of see the outline, but a uh, stick can't be avoided. And I got the wide ones. They haven't come in yet. However, <laughs> I am really glad that you sent me that link because they're so much nicer to use. And 90% of my centerpieces, um, you can't use them when they have real thin legs or arms. Um, I also found at Hobby Lobby, I was going to show you, um, I got skewers and they had in the create department, they had 50% off all of these um, toothpicks that work perfect for cupcake toppers and skewers that work perfect for when they have the really skinny legs like on the ballerina. I like to reinforce them, but you can't use the quarter inch um, dowel rod because you can it, it, you can see between the legs really bad. You can't tape the legs together. With the skewer, the wood skewer, it's about an eighth of an inch. Um, I think it's one, two, five. I wonder if it tells me on the pack. Let me grab it. I just tripped over my trash. I'll tell you how you want. And if I don't get it out of the way here, I'm going to trip over it literally. So, what a mess I made. Um, anyway, let me grab these and see. I'm going to grab the few that I got and show you because they may still be on sale. Um, sometimes they have real good deals on this stuff. Uh, the ones that I got, I got pink ones and I got red ones. I've got them hanging all over in here. Oh, guys, I just dropped all of this. Not only that, peanut crumbs. I hate some peanuts. And now the peanut crumbs all fell all over the floor. These are actually... I have to start this all over again. This video, or you can, I'm going to leave it so you can see just how what a klutz I really am. These, what are these used for? Spring bamboo skewer, and they're a little bit different shape because they've got the wider part down here. I like that they're flat. I have not used them yet. However, I'm thinking that rather than me use the stick. I'm going to think of something that I can make with using the stick as my my uh, guide. It's got a point at the end. It's wide down here and I know that I, like for instance when you have the center pieces where it's like a bucket and full of all different uh, images, these would be perfect. That These would be perfect for that. I'm going to tr want to try it. I'm going to film it. Then I got the what do they call these here? Bamboo skewers. These are skewers too. I thought they were just toothpicks. But they have a pink thing on the top and some of them have a red. But I use them for cupcake cup, <laughs> cupcake toppers. And if I don't but if I don't need this color, then of course the image that I'm gonna put on here, I'll go right over it. Um, but this I, I kinda I the last ones I made were red. So I was able to use the red ones and leave it showing. And probably a lot of the times the paint will be able to, I'll be able to use showing. I bought <laughs> bought all of them that they had on the racks because I can I got some for Jen and Amy too, and so they had just come in and they were on sale and I emptied the shelves. Sometimes I feel really bad for doing that, but you know, you do what you got to do. I'm trying to figure out what size this is. That's how long they are. I don't care how long they are. I'm trying to find how big around. Um, and how many are in here? A hundred pieces. But these are great. They're called bamboo skewers, but these work absolutely awesome when you're putting together a centerpiece that has really, really skinny legs. Because sometimes when I piece it together with popsicle sticks, I can't get it, I can't get the legs reinforced enough, and I really would rather use something long, but a, a, an entire dowel rod you'll see from the side. So that's what these are used for when, when you have something skinny and you want to be able to close all your edges. So just wanted to let you know they had a good sale on those. Um, my, my time is so messed up. I never know what day of the week it is, nor do I know uh, when I did something. I, and I just don't remember when I went to... Michael's? <laughs> now I'm thinking it wasn't even Michael's. Now I'm thinking it was Hobby Lobby. No, it was Michael's. And where's the other piece? So I'm going to see how easy this is to put together after I've already adorned it with such a heavy skirt. Might not be 
is easy. That oh, was fine. It was fine. No difficulties at all. I'm going over to my son shortly. He closed on his house yesterday, his first house. And um, it's awesome because it's right behind the grandkids' school playground. So he'll always have a huge backyard. It's elementary school. Um, and it actually is really funny because it was a house that my other son looked at um, when he bought his two years ago or three years ago. However, they put an offer in on it, but um, somebody else, I can't remember what happened. Something happened that it didn't go through or I don't remember. Maybe it was a house next door too. Lord knows what, what really is going on in my head. But the house is exactly like my older son's. Um, the, the, the layout and actually it's like mine it's it's really funny because um, my nieces two of my nieces and my two sons and yeah my two sons and my two nieces have all bought the tri-levels that were out when my house was built it was the thing the tri-levels and I got it because my brother had one and I really liked it I liked them because I liked the layout, and now they all have a tri, uh, uh, tri levels. But when the new houses came out, they they were no longer making, and um, and they started up again. I don't know what year because I wasn't looking for a house then. And my older daughter wanted a tri uh, tri level, but they ended up building and did a. They didn't. They didn't choose. I don't know why, but anyway, it's it's funny because now they all have the the same same type of house. Houses don't look at all remotely like with mine at all. However, they are kind of the same thing. Guys, I don't know. I had to tell you that. Who cares? Who in there cares? Raise your hand if you care. I see no hands, so that means no one cares. Good. For me and my wasted conversation, I need one of these bases. Excuse the reach. Do I want to use one of these? Or do I want to use the bucket? I'm going to use one of these because it's white. And let's see how she looks. He looks. They look. There's two of them. Oh my gosh. I am loving it. Yep. Guys, I'm going to have to say I do. I think this is adorable. Um, and look from the side how full that dress is. <gasps> love, love, love it. Guys, let me know what you think. If you like that real full skirt, if you like the ruffles, um, what, what are your thoughts? I'll take some pictures of that. The other thing that I'm working on, and I won't spend a whole lot of time wasting your Saturday, is the Michael Kors purse. But I'm going to have to go in and switch this piece and flip it around on the ones that it's backwards on. Um, I'm cutting out all the backs, and I'm cutting the backs out of craft paper. So I'm only going to put one or two together here for you so I can show you why I use the craft paper. Um, trying to think what else is new that's going on. I know there's probably something. I haven't choked. Um, my mother's back. I think I said that on the last film. Yeah, we had a really good long talk yesterday morning. So today, the day started out a lot easier. So I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Because I don't know how long that conversation is going to stay right up here for her to remember. But um, it's been going good. She's doing great. And I can tell she's really trying. Because I know she knows as well as I know that she's where she needs to be. But there are days that what I'm going to try and do is, I guess anybody out there who's taking care of an elderly parent or anybody elderly, I know that they have um, elderly like daycare. But also, what I was thinking, all she needs, she doesn't even need to go out. Um, she just needs somebody to talk to. She just gets lonely watching TV or whatever. And I can't sit and talk to her all day because that was part of our discussion yesterday is because I am 
um, too busy. I, I sit down there with her every night, guys. I'm really good about it. And watch a little tea with her. Do like we play on our iPads and do do jigsaw puzzles and things. Um, and so it keeps her calm when she goes to bed. But I would like somebody to come in during the day because sometimes I feel really bad that she's sitting there and not. And she can't sit in the office with me because she can't sit in the uh, hard the chair like the, the chair that you would put in here. And I don't think that that even sounds thrilling to her. Um, I did tell her I would like to have her exercise in the swimming pool, um, walking around because that pressure of, against the water walking would strengthen her muscles. A lot of what she needs is just physically. She needs to to get uh, to exercise more. We got our our um, treadmill, and I've been using it, but now my husband, hey, I got it in the garage, which is finished off, and I put it out there, and I said, you know what, that's easy for me to go to, and I'll use it. By the way, guys, these boxes are the Muline, the Gable boxes. They're the larger size, and I absolutely love them. Um, they are six by four, so they're six inches here to here, and they're four inch square here, so if they're six, four, four. Um, but they're good, good size. The only thing that I have to do on these is I have to cut the handles off. And um, you, if you're just going to decorate them for like a, a kid's party and you want to decorate just the front of them, you don't need to take the handles off. But making these purses that I'm making, um, I have to take the handles off. And uh, Hobby Lobby and Michaels, for some reason around here, somebody must be working on a project like me. I just had to do 70 purses that just shipped out yesterday, there were 70 of them, and I went to Michael's and Hobby Lobby, and they didn't have brown paper. Uh, they had small eight, eight and a half by, or eight by 11, eight and a half by 11, and they have a little bit of 12 by 12. So I had to mix it up, and the craft paper I can use just fine because there is the tan in the purse. However, I prefer to use the dark brown. That's, that is my ideal choice. This particular one, it doesn't matter because I'm putting an end on it. So the boxes can be whatever color. And when I run out and I have to improvise with the 8.5 by 11, what I do is I take three sheets and I tape them together. The way that I tape them together is I, I bring my tape gun down on the edge by a quarter of an inch and then it overlap the first piece. And I do that with the third piece. So this is actually three pieces together. Then my purse goes on it this way. So, and then, then I can fit two when I cut them out. This is for the backing. Um, and again, it depends on the size of the purses that you're making. These, the way that we figure out the size of paper we need, oh, I got something in the, the cutter there. I better get that out of there. Um, the way, way that we decide is when we design it, we make a square that would be six by four. And then take the image and put it over it and make sure it doesn't show in the back. That's that's how we do them. And I'm going to just put a couple together here. I'm thinking what gun do I want. I want this one. This is the tape that is non-forgiving and I'm almost out. Well, yeah, I'm going to use it anyway. I just ordered tape yesterday. So, because I don't know if I'm going to have enough here to finish, although I will use thin if I have to. So I'm going to put the, the micro mold cores on that side. Then I need to make sure I have one that has the backing. And the reason for the backing, I would never do them on this paper, which is the 12 out by 18 that I get from Staples. The reason I would not do that is because when you open this box to use it, if I use this from the back, that's what it would look like. Of course, let me shut this so you can see. Because I think this is crucial to this, this particular box, is if you do it like that, the whole back, all that white's going to show. And so that you can see, I hope you can see. Um, I'm looking at the camera, but I can't tell if you can see or not. Um, oh, there was a couple things that I wanted to remember to say. I've forgotten. These boxes are so hard to fold because when you fold them back up, once you open them, the inside tab curls in and you can't shut it. Okay, now I'm going to put one of the boxes on the front and on each side I do the flip. 
so the problem with the flip on this one is the this is backwards so what I'm going to do on my software is I'm going to cut a circle flip that frontwards and put it over it which should have been done before printing them um, I will just have to give somebody a reminder um, just an oversight which happens guys when you're doing this it, it happens like anything else that we do in life you know mistakes are made you just move on and I don't think this is a oh yeah it's a letter it's an ant right there and it's and they're trying to open it up and it is only one so we're gonna get this one on there I'm not going to do the you don't care what I'm not gonna do forget it I don't know what I was going down that road for anyway who okay you know what actually this is one that the way that this purse is made this didn't need to be flipped because they're just one on the front and back the the shape of the purse itself is almost identical on each side the time that it would be really important to flip it is if this purse dented in more the way it was sitting so it was you know like maybe just a little bit was here and it was all crinkled up which it was on the other ones I did depending on the style of the purse you need to flip it so that when you open it this that it they match this one it wouldn't have mattered because they're almost identical on both sides and so with that note um, let me think what else my husband is having a ball and I am um, in major shock because he took his his car out his vet he took out of the garage number one an open more room and he got a cover <laughs> my son-in-law bought him a cover for his Corvette before he even got one and you know it was kind of like well I have to get one now I got a cover but um, he knew how bad he'd wanted one and I said when he, when he retires you know he, he's worked hard and he didn't have his Corvette and he put it outside in the rain and he didn't have the cover on it that is how incredibly um, hooked he is on his crafting because he is out in the garage and his car is sitting outside which last year he won't take it out in the rain so to leave it out in the rain shocks me he did go get it washed this morning and I'll, I'm curious to see if he'll uh, cover it now tonight I don't know we're having awesome weather so I'm so excited had the pool open and the kids are like, oh, can we go swimming? And I said, well, as soon as I know it's going to be consistently in the 70s, I will go ahead and turn the heat on. But until that, I've learned over the past that you heat it up and then for a week it's so cold you got to start from scratch and I'm not going to do that. So, guys, that's going to be the end of my babbling. And thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you that say such nice things that you don't mind listening to me talk because you probably noticed I don't mind talking. But I'm done. Um, I've got some of these put together, but I have to cut the backs out. And then I will shoot some pictures, and that will be it. The next project I'll be working on, I believe, is going to be Pinocchio. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.